Hey everybody, it's me, Gabriel, otherwise uh, known as NYC Gabriel from the chat room and the forums. I see the topic is worst date ever. Um, I set up on a blind date in 1998 by a friend of mine. Early on that year, I lost someone very close to me to lupus. My friend figured the blind date would help me with the grieving process, you know, move on, stuff like that. <sighs> Bear with me, it's freaking like 95 degrees and with 100% humidity. Ugh, I'm so sweaty and my hair is like, ugh. Anyway, the date started off well enough. We went to several spots in the city, New York, obviously. We took in a movie at Times Square. We went back to Queens, in story to be precise, to have uh, some Greek food. She uh, made some very unusual comments during dinner, three of which stuck out in my mind. I wasn't Hispanic enough because I didn't listen to Latin music. I wasn't Hispanic enough because I didn't sound Hispanic, like most of the people she knew in the Bronx, as in speaking Spanglish or slang or my nationalities uh, accent, Colombian by the way. And I was a race trader because I dated non-Hispanics. <laughs> yeah. I could have lectured her. I could have yelled at her. I could have tossed a drink on her. Hell, I could have slapped her. Some people say I should have. But um, instead, I opted to do something a little bit more sneakier. When she got up to use the restroom, I called the waiter over. I paid him 50 bucks to let me go out the back door to the kitchen. Yes, I ditched her, and she deserves it. Anyone who calls someone else a race fit for dating outside of their race does not deserve any respect at all. I hate to say but it's it for a long time it tainted my view of Hispanic women. Would I date a Hispanic woman now? Honestly, I don't know. It all depends on certain factors. So, um, you know, and that's it. That was the worst date ever. So till next time, take care everybody. Alright, I gotta go. No, I'm sorry. I got to I got to go. Don't sulk.